Yesterday, 35 tons of baby formula arrived in Indianapolis from Germany. The White House says the prescription formula, which is for babies who can't tolerate cow's milk, will be distributed where it's most needed. But that's small comfort for this dad, who tells Amber Cagliano he put more than 1,000 miles on his car looking for formula. This dad is on a mission. My job as a parent is to find formula for my kid. He's on a quest to find NeoSure, a special nutrient-rich baby formula for his daughter Mackenzie, who was born three months premature. My first stop is going to be Walmart. Mac Jaynard put a thousand miles on his car driving from one city to the next in Washington state. He recorded every step of the way, a video diary showing his growing anxiety. We're pulling up here at the Walmart. Mac gets out of the car and enters the Walmart, making his way directly to the baby formula aisle. Absolutely nothing. Unbelievable. We're 0 for 1, but I am not deterred. So now we're going to head across to Target. On his second stop at Target, 0 for 2. Nothing but empty shelves. Back to the car. And off to another store. Here he is, cell phone rolling as he enters the local Fred Meyer superstore. Would he be lucky here? They have formula, but not what he's looking for. But I am not seeing NeoSure. Next grocery store is about eight minutes away. We march on. We were probably in the car for, you know, 20, 30 hours, just hopping in, trying to source locations that have inventory of formula on my phone, drive there, head to the formula, see if they have it, take a photo to see if anyone else can benefit from the formula that's there, post it on Facebook, and then hit the next one. His understandable um, frustration shows. Yeah, this sucks, but it is what it is, and it's every day. This is just becoming very, very, very dire. During his search, Mr. Jaynert found just two cans of formula. A good Samaritan who saw his plight online gave him two more.